forward Deacon Dave, and we're going to start the 100 gallon fabric pot grow today. So, I've talked about this a few times already. We're going to grow about 16 plants in a sea of green in this 100 gallon fabric pot. Now, I've started with putting a layer of perlite on the bottom. I don't think you can see it from there, probably, but there's a layer of perlite on the bottom. And I got a bale of this Promex BX Plus. It's got the biofungicide and the mycorrhizae in it. So I'm going to cut this open and I'm going to dump this in this pot first. Just get this thing opened up. And just get your hands in there. And start breaking this stuff down into the pot itself. Let's get it down in there. You just want to make sure it all stays in the pot. So that's the first step. Oh, nice mess there. Okay. So we just keep moving this stuff in until it's all broke up. And I got a shovel here to make it a little faster. I mean, it's just a matter of breaking it up. It's pretty dry. So we got this pretty well cut now. I'm going to try to pull this plastic bag out of the middle of it. Dump the rest of it right in the pot. All right. Okay. Wasn't a perfect pour. A little bit of it came out, but not too bad. Considering I'm doing it alone. Okay. So we're gonna spread this out a little bit. Spread this out, break it up a little bit, get in there, work it in there. We want to break up these knots. All these clumps need to be broken up and kind of loosened up a little bit. We don't want to leave a lot of those in there. Okay, so now I'm going to take the shovel and I'm just going to work it. The trick is to make sure you don't have any big clumps. So just hit every spot pretty evenly. So we're going to be mixing some more stuff in and that will break it up some more. Okay. Now I'm going to add some more perlite. Because I'm going to add some soil here. It's pretty dense. I'm also going to add some worm castings. I'm just guessing a little bit here. Just throw some in there. All right. So there's that. Do a preliminary mix here. Because we haven't mixed in a bag of dirt yet to get our volume up. Maybe another one, who knows? Seems like I need more dirt than I got here. Alright. Now comes this almost full bag of fox bar strawberry forest that I got here. Okay, this stuff is great. I grow my plants and pots all the way through with this stuff. I don't transplant a bunch of time. This stuff has got 
tons of nutrients in it. So now, we've got to stir all this in without making a mess. So, let's see if we can do that. Basically setting up what's going to be a small garden in here. Instead of like pot growing, it's going to be more like a 40 inch garden plot. So you got to mix all that perlite in. That's when you know you got to mix. You can see the perlites mixed in. I don't want to go down too deep because I got that layer of perlite at the bottom. I don't want to stir that too much. This is looking pretty good here. A lot of dirt. Okay, so we're gonna pause this now and get ready to plant the plants in here. So well, that's the next step. And we're back. Okay, we're getting ready to start transplanting these plants into this pot here. I'm going to get my hands down in here for the first time and just kind of spread this dirt out and around a little bit. Try to level this out a little bit, make sure I'm all around in the pot. You might have noticed I could have put more dirt in here, but I don't think I'm going to need to. I mean, these are going to flower right away. They're not going to do a whole lot more root structure. They'll do some. They're going to have plenty of room for that. So we're going to get this all spread out nice and even. That's a good looking soil mix. I think that's all right. I think that's all right. Nice and rich. Got some aeration in it. A lot of perlite in there mixed in nice. All right. So. We've got a lot of marijuana plants here to put in. So let's start by sorting these out a little bit. We got a lot of vanilla frostings. We're gonna probably want to put those all together somewhere, so let's get those all out first. We got a lot of So I'm not going to make you sit here while I sort them all out. But I'm going to go ahead and plant one in here and show you my procedure for it a little bit. And we're going to start in the very back, of course, so we don't have to kill ourselves to work over plants. Okay, so we're going to get down in here. I'm going to dig out a nice hole here. I don't have any mycorrhizae to add. I usually mycorrhize the roots. But there's plenty of it in the pro mix. I strive to stretch out the roots a little bit and get them kind of broken up a little bit there. Drop that sucker in there and then let's pack it in. Let's pack it in tight. Let's get it in there good. Okay, now, I'm going to go ahead and clean up each one of these plants as I do it. So first thing I'm going to do is get rid of all this lower shit. We don't need it. It's just going to be wasting energy. So just get in there and just cut it all off of there. Put your hands in there, don't worry about it. We're not worried about any of this. We don't need any of this stuff. Okay, I'm gonna leave that what's left there. Okay. 
I got some compost tea here I got from my local grow shop. I used to uh, make my own. Got to be a real mess. Got to stink like hell down here. And I couldn't use it up fast enough, so it started going aerobic on me. So, they give you two gallons a week. I go get it. So now I'm going to go ahead and water this sucker in. And let that soak in. Go ahead and use your hand and just kind of smooth that dirt around it. And that's one plan in. I'll get you back in here when I got some more done. As you can see, we've got seven of them in here now. These are all vanilla frostings. They've been transplanted, watered in, lollipopped at the bottom, and I've added name tags to each bottom of each one. Not that I'll need them because I recognize the strains. I'm going to put you on pause again here while I finish up the rest of these. Okay, we're back. I know this is getting to be a long video, but hey, I spent a lot of time while we were off camera putting these in. So, we got the vanilla frostings in the back. We got sour betties up here. We got your uh, vanilla frostings, sour betties, cherry pies, Maui Waui, and Acapulco Gold. So, I had a spot left, so I put this little Maui Waui in there. I know it's a lot shorter than the other ones, but hey, it's got a good light spot. Maybe it'll catch up. So I'll be scrogging this pretty soon as they get a chance to get used to being in here. I've lollipopped these down here really well. Got rid of all the lower branches that are going to be a problem. So I can get in here and water these and, and top dress them and do all the things I need to do on them. So we don't want a bunch of growth down there. So anyway, this is what it looks like from the top view. I mean, it's already a sea of green. Once I spread it out, it's going to cover pretty well in here. So, I think I ought to mention that I got this idea from Bill Ward, W-A-R-D, Bill Ward. Check him out on YouTube, the guy's a master, master freaking grower. Um, he's doing a 100-gallon pot grow, but he's doing it with like two or three-week-old clones. They're going to veg for a couple of weeks, and then he's going to put them into flowers. So, I kind of did it different. I had all these plants left over from my nursery, and I didn't want to kill them. So I decided to take his plan one step further and put in some pretty decent sized vegetable plants already or veg in veg state plants already and then flower them out from here. So as you can see the pebble punch is the tallest and I put it in the middle and we'll just have to see how the rest of these do on stretching. So they're going to go into straight into flower today. I'm not going to put them in any kind of veg cycle. They've had plenty of time to veg. Their lights will be going off at six o'clock in here. And they'll have their first night of darkness. They've been under 24 hours of light the whole time I've been vegging them. So this will be their first night of darkness. And that should really kick that flower cycle in. So that's all we got today on this particular project. Next project, we'll be transplanting some more clones and some purple lemonades into five-gallon pots. Getting those ready to go through their veg and growth cycles. And we'll be eventually harvesting the last two plants and tent number three. In the meantime, we did harvest the rest of the plants in tent number one. And those are right here. We have a Sour Betty. We have a Gorilla Punch. We have a Vanilla Frosting. We have another Sour Betty. And we have a Gorilla Glue. And over here, we've got another Gorilla Glue. So, this is kind of a harvest video too, as well as a big start on the project of the 100 gallon fabric pot. Projects often overlap in this kind of a game. So you're doing one thing while you're doing another. Anyway, we got this done. It's, uh, it was a lot of work to get this all mixed up and in here. But we're going forward here now. So remember what I always say, keep taking your medicine.